Hey everybody, Danette May here, and we are in the kitchen making healthy blueberry muffins. My mouth is already watering. I'm so excited to get started on this amazing recipe. Jeanette May here and we are in the kitchen because we are gonna be making healthy blueberry muffins. What I love is taking favorite recipes that everybody loves but has all the wrong ingredients in it, tweaking it a little bit with healthy ingredients without losing an ounce of flavor so that you actually enjoy eating these blueberry muffins. No one in your family knows that you put healthy ingredients in it and it actually feels better on your stomach. Nothing's worse than eating something that tastes really good, but then you feel awful after you eat it. You feel sluggish, you feel tired, you feel ugh. You know that feeling when you eat too many sweet things. You can actually eat these blueberry muffins in the morning for breakfast. I recommend two at the minimum for your snack a day, okay? <laughs> Let's get started. We are gonna do, I have a half a cup of grass-fed butter, so this is Healthy butter, guys. I like to get use my butter and my meats from cows that are free roaming and happy because it translates in our bodies, whether we want to believe it or not. So I'm adding that in there and I melted it a little bit. Now I'm gonna add two eggs and once again, these, I'm a big believer in this. So this is like cage-free eggs. Like, come on, we want happy chickens because if they're not happy, it translates in our body. Everything's energetic. So I'm gonna do that two eggs in here, throwing that in, and we're just gonna whisk this up. If you have like a mixer, go for it. I think I'm trying to do old school today, mixing it up. And you guys will notice I'm giving you exact ingredients, but I rarely measure because I think things are like one big portion of the recipe is about love and intention. So um, you do one teaspoon of vanilla. I use the cap, but it's one teaspoon if you're an exact type person, I am not. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. So adding that in, that's just gonna help it rise just a little bit. So adding that in. If you can get like a really good vanilla, it adds to your flavor versus an imitation. And then we're only gonna do a half a teaspoon of sea salt. So I recommend once again, not iodized salt, but sea salt. This is Himalayan. So I'm just gonna do about a half a teaspoon of that in there. Keep stirring it, keep stirring it. You can kind of see. All right, I like to move fast in my kitchen. I have this cute little container for coconut sugar. Instead of white sugar, we are going to use coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is so much lower in glycemic levels, which translates in the body, better for you. And we're, okay, you can add a cup if you really have people in your family that, with the sweet tooth. I'm only gonna do about three-fourths cup, okay? Because our family, we're, we're conditioned. We don't need it too sweet. And come on, like, we're gonna have tons of blueberries in there. So play around with that. Three-fourths cup to a cup of coconut sugar, stirring that around. It kind of makes your batter a little brown, but that's okay. Okay, so now I've got my coconut sugar in there. I am going to now add almond milk. So you're gonna add a cup of almond milk. You could use rice milk, almond milk. I don't recommend soy or dairy. Um, throw that in there. Slowly mix that up. Okay, and now we're gonna add the last two ingredients. We're gonna add the flour. I preheated my oven already, as you saw, to 350 degrees, and we're gonna add two cups. Now, maybe you can get your hands on this, but it's gluten-free one-to-one baking powder, so this is a combination 
of almond flour, brown rice flour, white rice flour. What you can do if you can't get your hands on this type of flour is just use, you know, it's two cups of flour. So you could do a cup of almond flour to maybe a half a cup of coconut flour and a half a cup of brown rice flour. Or you might use a whole cup of brown rice flour and a half a cup of almond flour and a half a cup of coconut flour. Just play around with the mixture because that makes a huge difference. You don't want all almond flour or all coconut flour. It just doesn't turn out very moist. So that's why I like to buy this package if you can find it because it just makes life a little simpler as far as pulling out bags out of your cupboard. So we got two cups of flour, throwing that in here. All right, so once you've got all that mixed in, you're gonna fold in two cups of fresh or frozen blueberries. And I'm just gonna gently fold them in. Mine are frozen, so I can be a little less careful, but if yours are fresh, I'd be really careful or they like bleed all over in there. This is a very blueberry recipe. If you're not a big fan of blueberry, you could do one cup or one and a half cup. Make what works for you, you're not gonna go wrong. So just gonna fold those in and now we're gonna add, put them in the muffin tins. Set to go. All right, so I lined my muffin tin with little papers, but you could spray it. Do what works for you. And I'm just gonna fill them up about three-fourths full and put them in the oven for, you're gonna check, depending on your elevation. I'm up in the mountains, so I would do check them in about uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Some of you might need to go till 20. You can always just stick a, a toothpick in there or a fork or a knife and just make sure they're done in the middle. 